Okay, we've had a lot of people asking about the country Paraguay, and for good reason. Uh, Paraguay is a very inexpensive place to live, and a lot of people are looking at getting a residency that leads up to a passport with Paraguay, but I'm going to tell you in this video why I would lay it off your, your list of countries. Uh, it has a lot of advantages, but it's got enough disadvantages that you want to leave it alone. And if you don't, if you, if you go over there, you're going to regret trying to get residency and uh, citizenship there. Uh, first of all, they've got a real short program that they advertise that you can apply for citizenship after three years of residency. And some people have tried to uh, get the residency and take off and leave, and it won't work. We've done enough checking on it and working with people to tell you that you need to be there the whole time. And uh, after three years, if you apply for the passport, you're not going to get it in that time period. The government is, uh, you're looking at probably, I would say, five to 12 years before you get the passport. Uh, a lot depends on who's in office, how quick they are, um, and if you're staying there the whole time. Uh, but you're making a huge mistake, and this is why, okay? Um, first of all, they, uh, the visa-free travel is pretty good. You're looking at uh, visa-free or visa-free on arrival countries and territories. They've got 148 countries that you can go to. These are countries and territories that you can go to visa-free. That's pretty good. That's not quite as high as St. Kitts. Uh, St. Kitts has got around 157 countries, but uh, that's very good. And, and for Central America, uh, other than, of course, Mexico has got a real good passport, but who wants to go there because you're going to be taxed out of your, your butt to get the passport. But the great thing about here is they've got a territorial tax system. The biggest problem with Paraguay, and I'm going to read the Nationality Act to you, is uh, they don't allow dual citizenship. This is the biggest. If they wanted to really change something about their passport, this is the number one thing that I would change because you can literally live there totally income tax-free with their territorial, territorial tax system. Uh, but when you take away the, the fact that you can't have dual citizenship, so in other words, if you've got a U.S. passport and you go to Paraguay, you're going to have to relinquish not only that passport, but any other passports that you've got. Plus, if you then go and get another passport after you've gotten the Paraguayan passport, and if the government finds out about it, they're just going through your baggage and stuff like this when you're going, uh, you know, you're, you're just, they're sorting through, uh, you know, checking things as you're coming to the country. And they say you've got another passport. You're coming in with a Paraguay passport, but you got this other one. You know, that you use in another country, you got to find out where, where are you going to store that, okay, where they don't find it. And, and I would tell you, don't be playing around with stuff like this, because if they find the passport, uh, they can immediately cancel your passport. They can push, put you possibly in jail and find you. And then you got a real problem. Um, and this can, you know, th this can go against your record. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's something you don't want to mess with. Uh, now, in... I've had some people say, well, Tom, they do allow uh, dual citizenship. That's dead wrong, okay? They don't, when I say they don't, uh, they allow it only for a couple of countries that you might have a second passport that they've got a, a treaty with. But I'm going to tell you, in most cases, uh, you're not going to qualify for that. And this is the reason why I tell you uh, uh, they don't allow dual citizenship because most people are not going to benefit from that. Let me give you explain, uh, explain to you what I'm talking about here. Also, folks, if you could do me a big favor, we don't uh, monetize this channel. It would do us a real big favor. This could be the tip. Don't give us money, but just hit the subscribe button, the right of your screen right here. And also uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and share this video with your friends. This can help us grow in our channel and that can help us more than anything. That's all we ask you to do if you don't mind doing that for us. All right, let me read out the Nationality Act to you. It's only about three lines here. Dual nationality is permitted under the Constitution of Paraguay on a reciprocity basis, meaning that unless Paraguay has a bilateral agreement with another nation, that other nationality is not permitted. Now, as of 2022, the only countries that have this uh, uh, reciprocal agreement with in regards to dual nationality with Paraguay is Spain and Italy. That's it, okay? So now if you already have a passport in those countries, then yeah, they'll come in, they'll allow you to get the passport in Paraguay. Assume you've learned the Spanish language. That's another thing. You're going to have to pass a Spanish test to get the passport. Uh, but to me, uh, that's a lot of trouble and then have to give up all your other passports. Let me give you some options that I would be looking at, okay? Okay. Uh, 
if you want, if you're willing to learn the Spanish language, why don't you go with these two other countries? Uh, I would pick either um, El Salvador or I would pick uh, Guatemala. Okay, this is uh, uh, because you're going to have to take the pass. You're going to have to take a language test to get the passport in those countries. Uh, I like El Salvador better than Guatemala because Bekele is uh, is basically totally re revitalized that country. He's gotten the crime rate almost down to nothing. Guatemala used to have a little bit less crime than than uh, El Salvador, which is not saying much because El Salvador was the homicide capital of the world. They had more murder rate. They had a worse murder rate than any country in the world. Uh, and second was Honduras. Now Honduras, I think, is number one or pretty close to it. But Guatemala's up there. Okay, so you're going to have uh, that's the the thing you're going to have to deal with, and you're going to have to learn the Spanish language there too. Why not go in a place where you got a guy that's a real smart guy who's eliminate the they they've got a total territorial tax system now in El Salvador. Their freaking homicide rate. It's it, it has just plummeted. I've never seen a country change so much. I mean, this guy has done an incredible job there, and he now he's gotten the the deficit uh, all, all problems straightened out. I think some of these other countries ought to hire him to come in. Some countries you really can't almost do that uh, because of the, the size of some countries. Mexico's actually considered it, but they have so many people on the payroll with the the mafia there uh, that. Uh, it, it'd be very difficult to do it. Uh, but I, I think they ought to try to give him a chance anyway. I think he could really change that country. Uh, but if I was going to pick a country, although I've been to Panama, I don't want to learn a second language. I don't want to pass that test. If you're willing to do that and you want to take a chance on learning it to get the passport, then El Salvador is your choice. It will take you 10 years to get the passport residency wise. Okay. Um, there are some other options. Uh, that's a better passport than uh, Ecuador because Ecuador doesn't have visa free to the Schengen countries like Guatemala and El Salvador does. Um, and that, that's why we picked those two over um, uh, Ecuador. But I'll be honest with you, I, if I had to make a choice myself, I would pick Ireland over all of them because the passport's the second best passport in the world. And it's all English speaking. No language test that you got to take. You just got to deal with the friggin' weather. But once you got that passport and you're looking at a lot shorter time period, about half the time period, you'd have to wait in uh, El Salvador, which would be in Ireland. You're looking about six years to get the passport, at least 10 or 12 years in El Salvador. But if you're looking at, you know, an option in Central America, uh, of course, Paraguay is actually in South America. But if you're looking at South America, Central America, and you're you know willing to learn a um uh, the Spanish language, then, you know, I, I would pick uh, El Salvador. Um, there are some other options, too. I, I don't like uh, Uruguay because Uruguay uh, starts taxing uh, worldwide income on dividends after about five years. If you've got a lot of money coming in dividends, they're going to hit you on that. You're not going to get your, your taxes to zero. There's too many options to pick uh, in, in Uruguay. And Uruguay also, uh, I'm finding out that uh, they the, the, the period of time they're advertising it, it I'm finding out that that's not materializing either. They're more astute uh, than a lot of these Spanish-speaking countries in getting a second passport, but they even, they've even they gotten pretty uh, lackadaisical too. Uh, but if you want a real uh, uh, time period that is pretty predictable, Ireland sticks right to the dime on their residency period when you can apply for the passport. But again, don't pick any country that doesn't allow dual citizenship. I mean, to tell you, you, the government can control you. They can cancel your passport, choose to renew it. And I'll tell you something. If you ever have, if you get a Paraguay passport and you ever have a problem there and you go and choose to get residency in another country, uh, that residency in that other country is going to eventually, it's going to expire. And you're going to have to show a copy of your passport. And if you got a Paraguayan passport and that Paraguayan government has canceled your passport for one reason or another, uh, you're going to have to solve your problem in Paraguay or you're going to be sunk because uh, that residency that you've got this outside of Paraguay will not renew that residency unless they can see a valid, non-expired passport. And if you've got one passport, this is the problem you run into. And this is why I tell you, don't go with a country that makes you relinquish all, all your other passports. Singapore has the same thing. Many countries have this. 
but stick with countries that you can pay zero income taxes, got good visa free travel, then allow dual citizenship. If you want to know more of this, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here. And folks, if you can do that for us, we don't monetize our channel. This can help us a lot. Share the video to other friends that you might have. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.